we are recording. Do we see recording? We do. We see recording. Awesome. Yay. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this week we're going to talk about the little things and how they add up to the big things in your business. Um, so such things as running events, challenge groups, checking in vitals, and social media. Okay. So first up, events. I did an event last month. Um, and there's a couple of things that I feel like uh, helped with this being successful. Um, so definitely want to make sure you have a cover photo and your title and they kind of coincide. So the cover photo, it makes sense with the title of your uh, event. Uh, and then uh, for the time frame, it looks like Facebook now has rules. So it's only going to be a event for two weeks. Um, I think that's just been changed because I'm running an event right now for a coaching opportunity and only allowed me to do it for two weeks. Um, and then make sure you put comfort of your own home so that everyone knows um, that it's something that they're doing at their house and don't have to be present or go somewhere for. Um, and then the description. So what I did is um, a while back, um, Ashley had done a call and she said uh, she runs events and Kaylee was saying how it was um, – clear what they were offering and so I went into that event and check it out and so I took part of what they were doing and then part of my own and so what I did is I shared my story just kind of a part of it and why I was creating this group um, so that I could relate to others and they could relate to me um, and also know that this journey wasn't just um, them doing it, but it was us doing it together. Um, and then the other thing was the description where it's clearly telling you what you're going to get in this group. Um, you know, you're getting the Shakeology, which is a meal a day. You're getting the home workout program. You're getting a meal plan to follow. And then you're getting access to the 30 day accountability group. I put via Facebook and the app. Um, and when I would talk to people, I would let them know that they would be able to use either or whatever worked for them. Um, but we were running it on both. Um, and then uh, body confidence, um, but that's as long as they put in the work for it. Um, and then I also said when the group was starting and that I was only looking to take 10 women. This was super helpful. I know it sounds like, oh, I don't want to limit it, but um, I know people were responding to me like um, I had someone who was uh, – like, I don't care if you pick me, but I'm really enjoying your live videos or like, I really hope you pick me. Um, and I had someone, I think as soon as I put them in this group, messaged me like that. Like, I want to be one of your picked people. So it's definitely good to narrow it down and feel like it's a limited um, selection process. Um, and I definitely, though, um, make sure you invite uh, your teammates and your uh, fellow coaches. Even if they're not going to be in the group, it's great because they're automatically going to say yes. Um, so it makes it look like a lot of people are attending your event. Um, so what I feel like helped a lot with this though, is I did a live video every single day. And so on this slide, so this is what my schedule looked like for every single day. Um, I wrote it up one day. I did mix up a few things. So I was like, Oh, I talked about the plans like a lot back to back. So I decided or different programs. So I decided to switch it up here. Um, and, and then I even did like an interview with my sister, um, and like how it changed her and why she decided to sign up to be a coach too, just a little adding in, like, um, going from challenger to coach. But, um, so I made a schedule and made it really easy because I didn't have to think about it that day. I could just quickly go on a live video and be like, Oh, this is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, and I did it at different times of the day. I would do it in the morning. I would do it in the afternoon. I would do it later on at night. Um, and you'd get different people watching it or they would come back and check it out. Um, but I feel like the live videos helped because then people can see you and they can really see your emotions behind it and they can hear your story. So um, I encourage you to try live videos, but if um, you're not there yet, try a YouTube video if that makes you feel more comfortable recording first and then posting or photo, you know, doing it on your phone and then posting or just at least be consistent as almost every day if you can do every day every day if not try as close as possible just like your social media consistency is key um, with keeping people engaged and interested and they know you're there because I have dropped the ball on events before where I've like posted like three times and I've like got nothing and I was like what did I do oh well I just wasn't even talking um so and the schedule helps um and the other thing is like talk about each topic as it applies to you. So yes, there's a lot of programs that I have done here. Maybe you haven't done those programs and that's okay. Um, feel free to bring someone else in that can talk about 
their program that they've done and their experience on it. Um, and you know, you can shoot them questions of what you want to add. They could do a live video and you could be asking the questions as they're doing the live video, just to make sure they talk about all the things that you want them to hit. Um, or uh, you can share it based on someone else's story if you want, but you want to make it personal um, because then people can relate to it and they know that, you know, um, this is coming from you as a true experience and what they can truly expect with that program. Um, so those are the things that I found very successful with running that group. Okay. And then, um, you know, and then make sure you're just following up with anyone who says yes, or maybe just check in with them and see, um, if they have any questions and stuff like that, follow up with that is key because they're probably not going to come to you. Um, and I think the next time I run this, I want to send out a survey to those who uh, I invited but maybe didn't respond, period. Like if they said, I'm not going, okay. Um, but if they didn't respond, period, I kind of want to see if they're interested in and want to be invited to future events or if they're just maybe don't want to be invited and that's totally cool or like what they thought of it if they pay attention at all. Like just a little survey to just kind of get an idea. Um, so then I can put them on a list of whether to invite in the future, not invite, um, and just see if maybe making changes in the future. Do you plan to do that survey within the group? Like how we can do like questionnaires or do you plan to like send them a message? How are you thinking on doing that? It would probably be a lot to send a message. Cause I think I'd invited like 80 something people. So I'd probably try just posting the group to see who responds to it. And I'll make sure like, they don't have to necessarily put their name if they don't want to, if they prefer to be anonymous. Um, that's totally cool. Just if they want to like say, well, I guess that wouldn't help, but I wouldn't, if they just wanted to give an opinion on their, like the event, how it was run, they don't have to put their name if they want, don't want to. But if like they do want to be invited again or they don't, like they'll need to put um, their name so I know that. And I'll put Unless it over there. Nice. You could always have the message you personally too, right? Yeah. So, and then, but if they did say yes, or maybe, or like they are, did join, I would message them dir directly and be like, Hey, if you have a second, can you fill this out? Cool. Okay. Okay. Challenge groups. So this is so key to the business because you're interacting with your customers. Um, and I just cut the challengers. Sorry. I have a tendency to do that with the two jobs. <laughs> um, uh, you're interacting with them, uh, you're participating with them. Um, so we're definitely looking for people that want to have, guys, I can't spell challenge. That's terrible. <laughs> At least I caught it. Anyways, we're looking for people to host the challenge groups, the free challenge groups. Um, Bridges of Rockstar has been running our big lifetime one, which is the easiest one to run. Um, so we're looking for someone to help do that and run it. It's a great way to get your foot wet, um, to just kind of understand how to run the challenge groups. Um, and then uh, we've had people uh, rotate through each week. For the other free lifetime one, the difference between the two, the one Bridget's running is basically um, anyone who's not ready for a challenge pack, um, but they want to kind of get some kind of accountability and get a feel for like what our groups are like. Um, we have them in that group. They do have to fill out the free uh, Beachbody profile, but that's it. And they can be added in. Um, and then we have the other one that's a lifetime accountability group. And that one is for those who, um, have done a challenge group or two, um, and they don't want to keep going through the same type of challenge group. And this one changes based on the schedule that we make, but they can stay within this challenge group. Um, and it never ends, but if they want to like, pop into our monthly ones, they can, it's up to them, but we kind of put them in after they've done a challenge group or two. Um, and they just want to continue on their journey. So that's that one. Um, and then also like it's key to check in as coaches and to participate in the groups too, because that just like the event pages, when we say, yes, we're going to go to an event or we like people's posts or we comment on them and stuff like that. It's great to do that in the challenge groups because, um, no matter what, a lot of people don't know if, um, well, first, no matter what, we don't want to feel like we're alone, that we're the only ones doing this. And as coaches, like we're the ones to lead by example. Um, so there's no reason for us to be shy or not want to be posting things in these groups or commenting or, you know, being a part of it. Um, but on top of that, like my challengers probably don't know you're a coach. So they're just thinking you're a participant just like them um, and vice versa. 
So the more people that comment, the more the feed is showing and people are like, oh, well, they're doing it, I'm gonna do it, or I'm gonna, you know what I mean? They wanna participate. So the more we do this, um, the more helpful it is to our challengers. So we just wanna make sure we're checking in these groups at least once a day. Doesn't take long to just check in um, and uh, you know comment, like, um, and share something that happened to you that day, whether you worked out, you just want to share a selfie, you want to share a recipe that you've done, you want to share um, a meal prep tip, uh, you want to share a workout tip, anything, post it in, you're having a bad day, post it in the group, um, just so everyone knows that they're not alone and it just keeps uh, the morale going. So I believe that's the last one I have for now. Yes. Two things Perfect. to add to what Dana said. Um, don't forget, you guys, as coaches, you're still challengers. So, Regardless, it's for accountability that you're posting in there, but you know, think about like how like you feel when you post something that you feel nervous about. You want people to support you. So the more that you know, more support people feel, the more they're going to be inclined to post and continue to post and to share and who knows, then become coaches. Um, but <laughs> somebody's pulling my hair. Um, but the other thing is with um, what Dana was talking about with um, the groups, both the lifetime groups, the one that um, Bridget has been helping out with, um, literally the topics are at the top and it's so easy. I mean, we're talking motivational mo Monday, like quotes. We're talking, you know, um, you know, tasty Tuesday, like things where literally like, you don't have to be an expert to do it's literally you can google something you can ask others just look at what others have been posting in past because i mean you can type in the word tuesday and it'll pop up all the different ones from on tuesday um you know like if you just type in the keyword facebook has gotten good about that at least even though they keep taking from everything else they're at least making some things better but um the other thing is is that dana has made a list for when we do the regular lifetime one for those that have actually done challenge groups in past. So you already have a topic. So if you don't know what you should wrote, write with that, I mean, we're no more expert than you. But if you don't know, use the blog from Team Beachbody that we're all given. That's an awesome resource. I use like, it all the time. Same here. Um, especially for those kind of things. I love it because I mean, why reinvent the wheel when it's working just fine? It's right there. There's information right there. They're really you good posts too. Yeah. Sometimes I'll put the word in and Google it, you know, just like fitness, you know, see what pops up, you know, and I write something off of whatever image pops up, you know? So it's right there guys. Like just make it yours. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, it's for you to interpret in your own way. So, um, our next topic is, is it my turn now, Dana? Sorry, I didn't mean to like. Yes. Um, <laughs> can you share your screen? Can. I can, I can, I can. Cause I stopped sharing mine. Okay. There we go. So, um, what I have, Dana and I were talking about like, um, Social media and your vitals. Now, to me, they kind of go hand in hand because um, social media, we share literally what we're doing in our journey, in our life. And it's not just about Beachbody. It's about, you know, everything in general. So you have, you know, people, here's Ashley sharing her life. It's, you know, even if she didn't post what she did for her post, she's showing her Shake Allergy Cup and she's showing her purple container. But to me right there, that's sharing your life. It's integrating it and weaving it out, ever necessarily having to say it. But if you want to say something, she's, you know, she's using Facebook as her accountability. As you see a hashtag, she wrote day 17. So therefore, she's, she posted every single day for 21 days. And just because, you know what, that way, nobody can say, oh, why are you posting about this every single day? People know that it's part of her journey and she actually did it as an album. So then people like really couldn't say anything like, why are you doing it this way? Well, because this is for me. Like you can always come back and say, well, this is for me. It has nothing to do with anybody else. This is for me. And it's actually part of your vitals is to be a product of the product or, you know, showing sharing is a part of that. And this is an actual form of inviting, which is yet another one of your vitals. So um, we're going to move on to our another one. 
This is my friend Stephanie. Um, she wrote, so energized right now. Hanging out with my team always has that effect. And this new Facebook Live feature is pretty fun too. I promised myself I would work out today. I'm not a liar. So here we go. And she did her workout live. That is an awesome resource. And I'm actually planning on doing mine tonight that way too. Um, not the whole thing but a tidbit so that people can see what you're doing and you aren't screaming to this program. You're literally showing them about the program so that they can see because people are visuals. People need to see these things. So if you're showing and you may not be comfortable showing these things, but guess what? I'm not perfect at my workouts. I know that most people aren't. You know what? If you mess up, guess what? People relate to that more than they do the person that does it absolutely perfect. So if you aren't good at this, more reason to be posting and doing these things. But the other thing that she did, which really got me, like, was that she talked about her team. Now, granted, this is an individual business, but showing that you're a part of something is really big. You know, people see that as, oh, wow, I want to be a part of camaraderie, I, you know, like, and talking about your business, your job as being fun and that you could take it anywhere, which I know I have another post that I'll touch base on that. But here's Rena. She's doing, she said, work out, done, commit, commit to changing your life one day at a time. That's an invite. I'm not sure if you guys realize that. That's an invite right there. She didn't do it through a um, a messenger, but she did it through a post. She told you right there, commit to, you know, changing your life. Do you know how many people probably messaged her and said, you know what, I'm ready. So little things like that where you don't even realize that's an invite. Um, this is for when you, like tomorrow, this thing you guys could do um, because we have um, our opportunity call. This is for an opportunity call. And um, it says, excited to give away some sweet swag tonight. Even if um, you could even do your own, if you invite certain people, say, I'm going to do a, a small drawing for, you know, those of my friends that have joined in and want to participate. And you could show a picture of what you're, you know, giving out. Um, I mean, you don't have to do any giveaways by any means. But, you know, people like free stuff, as we all know. So it doesn't hurt. So, you know, this is a great example, you know, where she's explaining what is going to go on in the call. No hidden agenda. We're talking to you about what we do, why we do it, you know, what it brings to us. So, you know, she, and it's an invite, but it's the invite to a specific thing. Insanity Max 30 at 6 a.m. isn't pretty, and I'm sweaty mess, but how am I feeling when I'm done? You can't put a price tag on that. This is a relatability post, guys. This is reaching out to people and making sure that they feel the same way as you do. There are a lot of people that have to get up really early in the morning to get their workouts in. So this right here, she's, she's tapping into those that have to get up early and might still work um, outside of what we do. But um, this is Annie and she's, you know, doing her dance. Like she's just, it's, it's literally about talking about what you're doing. If you are pushing play and you're working out, that's a post right there. You don't have to like struggle and think about what should I post about? Oh, how about this? Take a picture of your shoes, you know, take a picture of your workout, you know, gear or equipment. If you don't feel like you're, you know, having a great day where you want a selfie, Take a picture of what you're working out with and be like, man, there are some days where this is just necessary. You know, my shoes and my workout gear made my day, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't have to be terribly, you know, difficult. Ow. Well, do not bite. All of a sudden I have a biter, guys. Um, then, you know, here's one, like she's on the go. She's taking her Shakeology on the go. Um, and she's talking about what it's doing for her. You know, it's giving her all these different benefits. It's about talking about what we're doing, how it's applying to our lives and what it's giving us. So if you're working out, how is that workout making you feel? Does it make you feel stronger, healthier, better? Is it because um, some people think that, you know, with working out, well, it's actually proven that your endorphins go up, that you're a happier person. So talk about those things. Um, another great post for, you know, social media to, these are always 
best when you're about to do a really good like post for in terms of beach body like your workout or whatever is to post these because you're going to get a lot of participation typically with these ones um, where people will comment they may not like but those that comment are watching still too so if you do one of these posts where you're asking a question and you're asking advice they're going to participate and then because they participated all your other posts for like a day or two are actually like cycle through their feed more so these are good to do before you do a really good solid post if you have one that you had in mind that you really wanted to like you know send it home to people and make sure it's getting really you know noticed like i don't know an opportunity call post that we might have before tomorrow um do a post like this um this post is what i was talking about before where it's telling people what you're gaining from you know you could have your job anywhere you could do it anywhere anytime you pick your hours as your time and this is actually really good for post idea for tomorrow as well um because it's inviting people to the opportunity but it's telling them what you have gotten out of it um because you know, people don't want to be sold to. They want to see what it's doing for somebody. That's the whole point of being a Beachbody coach anyways, is not to sell, it's to share with people. And by saying what it's doing for this person, she's opening up her life and her world so that other people can see how great it is for her. And those other people that are like, oh, I understand where she's coming from. Those are the people that are going to reach out to her. Okay, this is Leslie, and Leslie here is talking about her fitness journey, and she's talking about how, you know, it's never been about being skinny. It's, it's about how you feel, you know, that confidence to be able to wear whatever. This is tapping into people's rawness right here. This is where I'm serious. People feel, okay. Well, she's doing these things and, it, and she doesn't want to look skinny because a lot of people don't want to look skinny. It's about how they feel. She's tapping into how people, their emotions. So post so that your people connect your feeling emotionally. Um, set goals, make them obvious, post them out for the world. You know, setting goals is, is and, and making them so that they're not just said, but written down is making it so that people know what you're working towards and it's going to hold you accountable but it's also inviting others to maybe do the same because i know when i see somebody write a post like this it makes me think well if they can do it i can do it okay so we're back to the beginning with ashley um let me see oh just to say uh just to go off of what you said about the engagement post um, so yesterday I did an engagement post on my like page, which I love because you can tell how many people viewed it. Mm -hmm. it. Says it reached 344 people. See? The post after it, 512. See? <laughs> and I, it also was like, I, it was personal though about a struggle because I had to fight with my closet and I didn't end up wearing any of the things that I showed. But again, like I do get the most responses when it comes to like not necessarily being real like you know whenever i'm having like a bad day and i'm just like hey being real about it like that's when i or when i struggle with a workout and at first i used to be like oh is misery loving company and i don't think it's that i think it's the fact that people just want to be like oh okay she's human yeah personal on a highlight reel but people are like hey let me see that you struggle too Personal posts are awesome. I mean, they're not easy to do, but those are the best and most effective posts that you can possibly do. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's the thing, too, is also when you're posting, recognizing people, whether they're above you, um, beside you as like a success partner or below you, you know, talk about how people are doing awesome. People like to see success from whether it's from you or those that you surround yourself with. Um, that's one of our vitals is to recognize one another, um, giving people props because it's about that positivity. It's about that feeling that people feel and we're sharing it with the world. We don't want to bring people down. We want to lift them up. So the more you talk about good things and recognizing other people's good behaviors and accomplishments, 
people are noticing that too and they want to be a part of that they you know when transformation Tuesdays that's a recognition day just so you guys know because even though you think you're posting and you know you're sharing a transformation you are recognizing somebody for their success and their you know their hard work and losing and getting healthier um, quotes are really good from your personal development book and a lot of times um, what I saw recently if you take a picture and you just put that quote over it it actually will get more traction um, and then do a little ditty on top of that, like, you know, in your actual post, or you don't even have to have a post with it if you put the quote over the picture. But um, sharing where you're coming from in your reading and, you know, what it's doing for you is huge. Um, you don't even have to do a quote. Sometimes you could just talk about how something has really tapped into that raw nature of yourself and you made a connection. And, you know, if anybody's looking for something that's going to pull this out of them, this is what they need to read, and you make a recommendation. So, oh, and also Facebook is will shoot up any live video that gets top um, posts, no matter what. Like they will put that above everything else. So, time to get on those live videos. Yes, let's do those. Those are fun. I mean, they are nervous, nerve wracking. Trust me. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. And then the Especially when you have technical difficulties like me, then it's super awesome. Or when you mean to put them on your like page and it ends up on your personal page. But that's okay. People, I think people really like my awkwardness. And that's the thing too. If people see, okay, well, she said she was going to do this or, you know, she's stumbling on her words, people connect to that. They like to I'm see you. I saw that too, that people really like my awkwardness too. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, that's good. I'm good with awkwardness. I'll give you as much as I got. I mean, okay. um, I come from a family of klutzes. They're going to think my kid knocked himself out in the head last night and has the biggest goosey because we're klutzes. And we don't just do that physically. We stumble over our own words. Like, I can't even tell you how many times I mess up what I'm trying to say and I make up new words or whatever, and it's just not what I meant to say. Uh, I spelled challenge wrong, y'all. That's true. But you did a really cute job with it. Thanks. Okay, um, before this leaves us, um, we, okay, so this week, uh, free 4th of July group is starting tomorrow. It will be Monday through Friday. We're going to be just sharing recipes, um, nutritious and healthier recipes um, for to plan for the holiday. And then on Saturday, we're going to give tips on how to stay on track. And then Sunday, we'll announce that we have a um, new, our monthly challenge group starting on the 5th because we feel the fourth will probably be too busy for people to get, um, we kind of learned that one for Memorial weekend, um, but invite them to that if they would like to join. Um, tomorrow's national wake up call. I haven't gotten the email, so I'm not sure who's on it, but I know it's Leslie. Leslie. Okay. Awesome. I love her. Super exciting. Um, and then tomorrow night, uh, Chris and I are going to do a live, uh, opportunity call webinar, um, within that, the group page that we have so if there's anyone you want to um add to that invite them invite them invite them um especially if you're pushing for emerald because those are the people that need to see it if you're if you're gunning for it you know you want those people to tune in absolutely um so that's tomorrow night at 8 30 and then um bombshell team call is this week at 12 30 um and then uh, as mentioned, July's challenge group is going to start July 5th. Um, so yeah, those are things coming up. Also next week starts the new round of the lifetime accountability group. I'll be posting that this week with the topics for each week. So volunteer, volunteer, volunteer to take a week, um, and help this group. It's fun guys. And it's, we, we set it up for you to be successful, not for you to fail. So, you know, and it takes all of five minutes. If that, if that for you to post. And a lot of times I do it the night before, or you could do it early in the morning. And you know what, there are ways to schedule it so that if you're not one that gets up that early or stays up that late, talk to Dana and I, because there are ways to do it so that, you know, it works for you. So. Yep. Super exciting. Oh, and two fun things happening. Um, one, next month we plan on trying to do the free group via the challenge app. And